Hello, everybody. Thanks for inviting us um, to speak at iLearn 2021. Uh, my name is Regina Maria Beck. I'm a PhD candidate at KU Eichstätt Ingolstadt and as well as KSH Munich. Um, my co-authors and supervisors are Rainer Wienrich at KU Eichstätt and Birgit Dorner at KSH Munich um, University of Applied Sciences. Our paper, um, is called Getting There Together, Cultural Framing of Augmented and Virtual Reality for Art Education. So the goal of this study was to get insights in our teachers' perspectives on the potential of AR and VR. And technology acceptance is something which is really vital when it comes to classroom implementation. It is really important to um, look at their perspectives and to gain insights and methods and projects and um, understand their perspectives, which are culturally framed, of course, as technology acceptance has a cultural social uh, aspect. Um, and since they're the ones that eventually use it in classroom, it's important to understand so what their perspectives are, why are they drawn to a, why are they um, actually uh, feeling hurdles towards implementation or whatsoever? And since software and hardware is rarely um, co-designed with art educators, this is really a vital uh, step. How did we collect? Um, they were already uh, teaching in classroom for a while. Some were rather beginners. Overall, there were 20 participants um, from secondary school most of them, some in primary school, um, also nursery school teacher trainers and even art therapist trainers who were teaching art education. Um, since they had little experiences with AR and VR in classroom, we also realized it's important to talk to artists who engaged in pedagogical projects so far, and we picked six artists in um, at the intersection of uh, media practice, artistic practice, and uh, education. Um, how was the structure of the webinar? So there was a section on media art. Um, art teachers were introduced to um, established ones, as I just mentioned, but also um, pioneers. So Jasmine, for example, she's very uh, she's a young pioneer in uh, VR painting, and uh, so our teachers get inside in that um, in these positions. Then the second, third and last section were really hands on. They could create with a selection of AR tools. Um, they could create in web VR tools um, and then also uh, learn about art history in AR as well as web VR. The drawing tools as mentioned were um, Grip 3D, we see a, um, a participant working on a Gothic church as topic uh, at the top. Um, we see um, that's Grip 3D, the software. Then we see uh, Paint AR at the bottom, those, the, the fish hovering uh, in front of the desktop. And the participant says, look, I generated some visitors. So that was really interesting, some kind of performative, playful uh, approach to uh, using AR designing. And on the right side, we see design R. Um, that's a prototype I developed during my PhD project um, together with Chris Götzl of TU Munich. And it's kind of a basic um, drawings um, and stamping and designing tool. Um, we we um, were really lucky to get some feedback on that um, by our teachers as well. I show, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how that looks like. So that was somehow a 3D interpretation of a 2D painting. Um, that's not an art teacher. These were our explorations um, in the way of developing the software. And you see, so it's device related drawing. 
with a with color picker on the left side and then um, AR core driven surface tracking at that point uh, where we where you can also draw more immediately on surface and more even like very subtle bottle bubbles. There's um, object and inserting and grouping objects. This is kind of mother object that's guiding the others. Thanks to the um, space of um, artists community, which is called uh, Dachauer Straße Atelier House, uh, specifically Uli Zwerens, who was um, offering his gallery for some months to use and workshop as well. So the second webinar was on VR co-creation. There were four participants um, who were using Sculpt VR, a multiplayer drawing sandbox concept, and Tilt Brush. Um, they were connected via stream, but then were creating individual projects. Mozilla Hubs, we used um, open heritage 3D environments, more of photogrammetry, photogrammetry um, a pagan, pagan temple, and then the Parson on Optimize, which you see uh, here, um, at least for the glimpses. So um, there, on the left side, there's Sculpt VR, there are lots of layers and uh, on the theme of Plantscape. Um, and you see, you can see as they, you carve out and um, um, co-creation really leads to a kind of complex imagery in that sense. And um, I would call that a kind of collage in space. You can kind of um, attach several objects within uh, Mozilla Hubs and then um, convey meaning in a different way even like a metaphor or performative metaphor in space. And on the right side, use, use them as a kind of a template for 3D uh, objects. We use grounded theory, specifically situational, uh, situational analysis um, and positional maps where you then also look at um, different um, social arenas, um, different positions um, where your individuals are uh, coming from and to you constantly compare an iterative cycle. So what's our commonalities and differences? And um, since this is a postmodern take on um, a glass of straws, uh, scrounged theory, it's really about an awareness of that we co-create meaning in this uh, very moment and to have a close look at that what's happening. Max Kudi A was used for to create, um, to come up with uh, categories um, and um, compare different um, groups, event eventually different groups as in terms of cultural positioning. I'll show it you in a second. And Kinovia video analysis was really important for VR co-creations and, and to tackle that the visual data. So we came up with three groups. The group and now we can is really one that is excited uh, with what the applications are offering. Their preference, their current preferences is on digital media. Um, they immediately come up with concepts and really jump to classroom implementation without any critical reflection that held even for primary school in parts and um, was striking in terms of um, yeah, proximity and ability to distance are to critically reflect chances and challenges, specifically in, a, specifically in an age that is not um, officially recommended to use VR headsets. Then we have the group Great But, so they are more the balanced ones. They see chances and challenges. Challenges. They really swiftly change emotions from enthusiasm to um, to criticism. They suggest variations of um, beyond the state of the art and um, reach implementation phase after a period of um, testing, networking, and how to frame it also pedagogically. Um, and it's not 
that the the application itself already is the pedagogical um, concept, but there needs to be a framing pre and post usage. Then we have the group um, and what is more, sorry, that's my video, and what is more. Um, they, it says if they keep searching for the surplus on a media cultural level, but also feel overpowered and over challenged uh, in terms of media competence. They don't have this network they draw on towards implementation phase, as I just mentioned for the middle group. Um, so they are stuck in, in um, somewhat torn in between um, the, um, the actual um, necessity to use digital, to imply, implement digital media, um, also from a political level, um, or also to address students' needs, but then their own taste, really they're taking a back of aesthetics and, um, and also um, they feel they even teach wrong, um, wrong content when the digital twins are mm, not precise or misrepresent re misrepresenting the actual original. So um, honoring the original is just at the core of their media cultural value and that's just not fulfilled in the digital. So I came up with that model. Um, it shows this kind of polarization as a cultural struggle where um, you either um, reject and feel alienated on the right side or you you um, you have this stance of affirmation and enthusiasm without any criticism um, but then the shifting mode so that means a, the middle group that manages to dive in enthusiastically but then also step back and reflect and think beyond given um, applications the effects on how they actually come up with art educational concepts are in that sense, where is the starting point? Is it the app itself that's guiding the path for concept? Is it um, a variation of both existing concepts and applications? Is it a somewhat a transfer, transferring concepts to um, onto applications and thereby not really um, making use of the novel effects? Uh, or novel potential and then or is it really rejecting it because um, there's a mismatch of of concept and what the application is offers and also a mismatch of learning goals and what the application is offering um i haven't talked so much about the artists but we um, conducted interviews 101 um of around 30 to 45 minutes with Tammy Cotil, Jess Harrington, Craig Freeman, Stuart Campbell, Daniela Weiss, Lito, and Vladimir Storm. And all of them had pedagogical uh, projects, uh, pedagogical experiences. Um, Tammy Cotil already back in the 80s with um, Starbright uh, project. Um, um, of our early web we are concept for kids in a hospital and um, Jess Harrington engaged in projects with with um, families and, uh, and children with uh, uh, aborigines it was really um, interesting to see how um, she came up with um, the potential to um, really give uh, give voice and visibility to minorities. Then uh, Craig Freeman, who is working on a variety of themes, but also um, politics in space and uh, the Cora as a kind of learning in space and spatial embodiment as learning mm, when it comes to globalization and issues as such to learn it via being immersed in different contexts. Um, Vladimir Storm, that's um, the green um, screenshot on the right button. Um, he's working on a variety of theme, but the, that one is um, music instrument um, where you kind of, uh, you embody um, as a reptile, a reptile and you create a music kind of in really novel ways. But he's also working on religion and um, takes a stance of expressing subconsciousness, subconscious uh, aspects in VR in a very specific way. 
uh, Lito, Daniela Weiss. So that's uh, at the right side in the middle um, screenshot of one of her pieces for Artificial Museum that's currently exhibited in Vienna. And she also worked with a variety of um, children and adolescents pondering upon the future, the digital future um, uh, via AR uh, installations. So we collected art educational concepts. It means we asked what kind of um, project, what kind of uh, theme would you come up with, AR and VR, after having tested the formats or artists with their backgrounds. So there were recurring themes on architecture, um, on body, and reflecting on digital persona and identity. There was a variety of methods from treasure hunt, but also something like a drawing assistant as an interface from a teacher to students. Um, modeling and hybridity. So you have your uh, actually haptic model that you're working on, but then you can jump to and fro to a VR based virtual model. Mm. Specifically with respect to VR, I mentioned the emotional quality um, to express emotions, but also then to have an emotional access to art in a different way. Um, and then um, the question of how uh, the question to think about human ways versus mediated perception was um, addressed. Um, there were overall few suggestions on how to convey basics of media psychology or media history before using it, so specifically VR. Um, and onboarding was less less of a less of a topic. Um, so when it comes to um, to kids and adolescents, but rather post VR reflection. Um, so here you see an overview um, of all art educational concepts as collected from art history to creation, a combination, reflecting and presenting. I just let you um, go through this for a second. So that's just the AR focus. There's another VR focus you can look up online. I share the website uh, at the end of this presentation with you. So we see there's really a hybrid, um, strong hybrid um, focus. There are always, there's always some real space involved, which is um, unique for AR, but we also know other incidents where you can, um, you, where you can have a, a pop-up sculpture with, without any um, reference to, to the background, um, such as um, Google Expedition sculptures. But like cleaning up the classroom or airs on a physical artwork that's really uh, at the a hybrid a uh, focus on hybridity. Yeah, further research, how to convey the results now in teacher training, what do we take away for that? Um, so one idea was to um, kind of reflect on own media cultural tendencies as a voyage um, of my media cultural belonging. So why am I drawn to that aesthetics? Um, um, why is it um, rather, uh, why I'm rather taking it back and to kind of uh, understand also differences during uh, the pandemic and before. Um, and and use the model that I just uh, presented, the pink one, as a kind of carpet where you can um, position yourself in a certain voyage in proximity or distance. And yeah, to have this as a kind of reflective method. Special education is why. So there were two teachers uh, really um, mentioning um, why so, um, aspects to be considered for deaf students who may perceive certain situations as more dramatic um, with a, a visual take on the world or um, ADHD um, in, in the sense of escapism um, and how to deal with, with that when it comes to VR. 
Um, it is important to involve our teachers and students in app development because teachers are the ones that will have to introduce it and um, um, to, to feel a certain media cultural connection. And then students are the ones obviously that also are using it. Um, and we argue, we strongly argue for a joint voyage to do that. Challenges obviously are data protection, economic interest, and um, so whether there's really a media educational purpose or rather an economic purpose in such an endeavor. Yeah, please reach out. Uh, if there are any questions, um, we're more than happy to um, get in touch and talk about this issue further on. Acknowledgement. Literature, just the ones that I used in the presentation. And software as used. So I promise there is going to be more information, such as on the VR part uh, of concept, xlearning.de slash ilearn, the password ilearn2021 will guide your way. See you at the conference.